everyone, this is Jen Geely's Scholar. What a year we've had. As some of you may recall, I applied for the scholarship on a helipad in the Red Sea. Living in Saudi Arabia and conducting expeditions on the Ocean Explorer, I had a dream to combine the space and marine sciences, become an ocean astronaut and work as a scientific dive explorer in neutral buoyancy labs and expedition vessels. But my diving needed an upgrade. However, a conference in Florida last year turned into a self-made dive immersion around the Middle East, Europe, and serendipitously, the USA. This is what happened. Having the flexibility of the GUE scholarship to make the year my own was a game changer. I could finally partake in a master's level expedition to Antarctica, join a dive medic training course in London, and help scientists sample the abyssopelagic of the high seas on an English trans-Pacific expedition from Hawaii to Mexico. All alongside diving, of course. I wouldn't advise spending your life savings on an around the world trip, but can confirm it was worth it. Being invited to Scuba Seekers Dahab and diving backplate wing after such a long time gave me the first hint of confidence again when it came to buoyancy and long hose configuration, especially as my experience dives increased. And daily sunrise swimming definitely improved my resilience in colder waters. The lifelong connections I made will serve me well into the future and I look forward to going back one day. As you can probably tell from my face, this was a bucket list moment to join the team at Deep Dive Dubai for a month. The ability to go diving, kind of whenever I wanted, certainly pushed up my dive number, and I saw every one of them as a privilege I never took for granted. To meet the NASA MBL dive team and astronaut-to-be Matthew Dominic training for his first mission to the ISS was insane and all from a serendipitous connection from the GWE conference but there was no time to process for I flew to stay with the GWE Seattle team which is equally as insane and I think my new adoptive GWE community. Here I dove doubles and rising in the sea for the first time and partook in Geely Seattle takeover dive trips and shout out to the guys that commuted like 8 hours just to meet me. Guys, I'm not that special. Let's not 
forget my quasi-second home in Sidonia, testing my own avatar dry suit, conducting skill and project dives, and diving for the first time in the Mediterranean. However, before all of this were constant trim workshops from my mentor Dorota at the beginning and well throughout my scholarship year. You can see in one session how I finally understood my proprioception in the water to bring my legs down into a nice trim. As you watch the video you can truly see how far I've come and I now have the tools and exercises to keep correcting this. As someone who received a rec pass with Wendy's for a first time, I admit using things like doubles and corded lights were never even on my radar. But I'm so grateful I got the chance to learn, as now I can't imagine diving without these tools. With more time spent underwater, I could help the photogrammetry team develop longer and more complex projects. And my fourth course in a row in Deep Dive Dubai was learning about dry suits. And once I understood I wasn't going to shoot up to the surface, with some work, I finally felt comfortable diving dry. All in all, I left with practical skills to take onwards in my journey and a big physical change in my diving. And the skills we took to Croatia, finally catching up on more primers that were glossed over in my previous diving journey. I learned so much about navigation, not to mention all the line, real and not work. Rescue techniques in doubles dry suit and staying in trim and an experience of triox diving too. And as you can see here, frazzled from the cold, we have completely forgotten our dive plan. Once I got over the shock of climbing these stairs every day, guys, these doubles weigh as much as me. Scientific Diver was the course I wanted to achieve, and my favourite one as well. A culmination of all my skills thus far, I was able to conduct complex data collecting dives comfortably, even if we worked too efficiently as a team at the end, and managed to complete everything in under 20 minutes. One of the most transformative months of my scholarship year, the ITC was the most challenging yet rewarding course. I left with a quiet confidence that I could make it one day, for I had the tools to combat my weaknesses and I actually had some strengths which complemented the team. And finally, a course that bridged the gap between photogrammetry and scientific diver. I was grateful to the documentation diving team in progressing my skills in project management, developing filming and survey dive plans, and helping me out when injured. So although I never managed to return to Dahab and Sardinia this year, we did make it there in January and May respectively. So Monday mornings in Egypt were spent conducting beach cleanups and reef surveys, something that I also continued with on the eastern side of the UAE as well, when helping out with freestyle divers ecosystem assessments. And maybe one of the best weekends this year, the chance to explore and dive from sunrise to sunset in such an isolated area, right at the top of the Omani Musandam Peninsula overlooking Iran, was such a privilege.
and something which I spent a good few months of my year designing, the chance to pay it forward and try and give young people the chances that I have been given. Hence, the Next and Legacy project was born, a global community of young aspiring divers that can benefit from the wider reaching opportunities of the GWE scholarship. For example, access to GWE courses, projects via supplemented memberships, or invitations to connect with established scientists. And this is exactly what we have done this year. I met with one of the trainees to establish a recreational long-term monitoring project in Sardinia in May, conducting seagrass surveys, beach cleanups, and also documentary making. These connections are exactly the type of experiences I wish to give back to others, just as the scholarship did for me. Not only has there been such a huge practical change in my diving as well, but a transformational shift in my confidence past me would never have even thought about talking to a camera like this, sharing their struggles online, DMing the CEO of a space company. So I just want you to know that you're all capable of doing the same too. Most of all, this year has taught me that others really do believe in me, so I think I should try and do the same. I really think GUE is like a chosen family, so I just want to thank every single one of you for giving me secondhand gear, for allowing me to sleep in your houses and on your sofas, for inviting me to different countries and to different projects. It's really made this year so special, so yeah, thank you so much. However, one thing I did not imagine at the start this year was having a long-term future with GUE as well. Not only as a recreational instructor one day, but also helping out HQ in terms of project coordination, management, and the next gen legacy project. You will get rid of me. <laughs> Finally, I could not have done this year without my mentor, Dorota. She is so inspiring to me, and I honestly cannot believe the amount of support she has given me over this year. From trim workshops in Deep Dive Dubai, to inviting me to Sardinia, ITC workshops, and project development work. Um, she's done so much for me, and yeah, the future is very exciting. So thank you so much for everything. Ah. <laughs>